It appears Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is responsible for the recent stunt that has California Governor Gavin Newsom enraged and possibly en route to file charges. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your legal analyst, Adrian Lawrence. After a privately chartered plane of 16 migrants mysteriously arrived in Sacramento this weekend, Gavin Newsom launched an investigation to unearth who was behind this stunt. And it appears the California governor has identified his man and has called him out on Twitter. Ron DeSantis, you small, pathetic man. This isn't Martha's Vineyard. Referencing DeSantis' prior stunt sending some 50 migrants to the wealthy Massachusetts island. Kidnapping charges? Newsom attached this portion of the California statute, which is California Penal Code 207D. It reads, Every person who, being out of this state, abducts or takes by force or fraud any person contrary to the law of the place where that act is committed and brings, sends, or conveys that person within the limits of this state and is afterwards found within the limits thereof is guilty of kidnapping. Now, Newsom released a statement on Saturday indicating that the migrants had been taken from El Paso, Texas to New Mexico before being flown by chartered jet to California, where they were then dumped on the doorstep of a local church, without any warning, of course. Well, the Golden State's leader was swift to act. The state's attorney general, Rob Banta, is investigating the incident and evaluating potential criminal or civil action against those who transported or arranged for the transport of these vulnerable immigrants, Bonta said in a statement. Now that it appears California's leadership knows it was DeSantis who piloted this inhumane prank, charges could actually be filed under that kidnapping statute, especially if this incident aligns with what happened in Martha's Vineyard, where the migrants were misled about the circumstances under which they were brought onto the plane and then onto the island. There would just need to be sufficient evidence here to establish that DeSantis used fraud to lure these 16 migrants who were dropped off at the Sacramento church this weekend. And that evidence would definitely include testimony from those migrants who reportedly were misled. They say the migrants were approached outside a facility in El Paso. They were promised jobs and they were promised travel assistance. But they say they had no idea where they were being taken, that they were going to wind up in Sacramento. The California AG uh, likened the situation to, quote, a state-sanctioned kidnapping. Now, if charged, it would be a pretty big deal, as DeSantis is a governor of another state and has been very vociferous in terms of his contention for the 2024 presidency. A man of his stature being hit with 16 counts of kidnapping, where each count carries a term of up to eight years in the pen? Yeah, I don't know if Newsom is that bold, but then again, who knows? Closing question for you. If it's a head-to-head matchup between Gavin Newsom and Ron DeSantis, who you got? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button. And thanks for watching.